In this video, you're going to learn how to choose a domain name and hosting service to help you in your quest as an online marketer to maximize traffic and conversion on your website or blog. Now, your goal when picking a domain name is to choose a name that not only represents your brand and lets people know what you're about and what's unique about you, but also positions it to influence your customers' minds. You'll also want to include keywords in your domain name so that it's more likely to come up in search engine results when people are searching for a particular phrase that's also in your domain name. Here's some tips for choosing a good domain name. The first is to keep it short. Now it might be hard to find a domain name that's only one word, two words, even three words, but I would go for three if possible, otherwise four. Keep it memorable, something that's catchy and is going to stand out in people's minds that's not easily confused. Like I said, make it clear what you're all about and what they're going to get there to the degree that you can. And also something that's hard to misspell. If it's a certain word or your last name or some kind of industry jargon, then keep it simple. Also, it needs to relate to the core of your business. Like I said, it should tell people what you do and what they can expect once you get there. If you do that, you'll be more likely to get people typing it in, coming to your site, and will be a little more pre-qualified and ready to convert once they get there. Once you've brainstormed a couple suitable domain names, the next step is to search and see if they're available or if someone else is using them already. The easiest way to do this is to not bother checking if they're available as you're brainstorming them, but just make a list on a piece of paper as fast as you can of every possible name and variation that would work for you. Then go to the same place you would to purchase a domain name, we'll give you a couple places to go later, and type in the domain name and see if it's available. Narrow it down to see which ones are left, and then of those that are available, pick the perfect one for you. The next step is to choose a place to purchase and register your domain name. The most popular domain registrar is GoDaddy.com. You've probably seen their Super Bowl commercials. Uh, they have done a pretty good job. A lot of complaints though come through them. It's hard to transfer out later on. I prefer Namecheap. The domains are a little bit less. Uh, not as much upselling and confusion when you're in the process of purchasing it in your shopping cart. And you can also get a domain name through the same company that you use for hosting. We'll cover those in a minute, but if you're using Bluehost for hosting, for example, you can also purchase a domain name through Bluehost, and that could save you some time as you won't have to transfer the name servers later, which is a small step but uh, can be confusing at first if you've never done it. Once you've got your domain name taken, then it's time to choose a hosting service. So what exactly is this? Well, I won't bore you too much with the technical details, but long story short is things appear on the internet on certain websites because those websites are hosted and all of the pages and the words and the images and videos are saved somewhere in the cloud using servers like the one you see here in this picture. So basically you have to pay a certain company a fee each month in order to have your website's content appear on the page when people go there. Now here's a couple criteria to keep in mind when you're choosing a hosting company to use. First look at the price and what you get for the hosting package that you're ordering. Uh, how much can you save online? How much traffic can it handle? If it's just for a small low traffic website then just look for something that's less expensive but also has important features for you to use. Something that makes it very easy to upload new plugins for your WordPress site, new content, new videos, easy to give access to someone else, easy to create email addresses and forwarding addresses for your domain name. All right, simple to use and also how good is their help and support. Do a little research on a company first and find out if you run into trouble, will they pick up the phone? Will they get back to you within a day or two and answer any questions you have? Now, here's a couple hosting companies you can use. GoDaddy offers hosting. Personally, I use Bluehost. It has always met my needs. They allow for unlimited data storage, which is not completely unlimited, but it's more than you probably need unless you're a big internet marketer. You pretty much pay for the whole year in advance, and you can host as many domains as you want just with one account. So basically, why pay $10 a month per website if you can just pay $120 a year or whatever and have 
as many websites as you want. HostGator is very similar to Bluehost, and there's also three new ones on the scene worth looking into, Just Host, iPage, and Arvix. Once you've got a domain name and hosting set up, then it's time to create your website. Your website is going to be the central place where people find what you have to offer and make purchases. If you'd like to learn even more ways of getting visitors to your website and to make money online, click the subscribe button now in order to follow us and see more of these educational videos as we produce them. It's very important that your website be set up to be appealing and also influence people to take the actions you want them to take, like subscribing or making that purchase. So in order to find out new ways of getting people to your site, or helping them to subscribe or, or turn into a sale, click the subscribe button here and follow us for more educational videos as we come out with them.